What's up guys, Austin Numi here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a really easy, super smooth transition that you can use simply with your hand to go from one location to the next in an instant. Before we go ahead and dive in, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one. And let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my two fresh clips ready to go. I'm going to go to the first one just so you can see how I filmed it. I just walked up to the location I wanted to transition from. I showed the audience my hand so they knew what I was using to transition with. And then I did a full wipe from the left side of the frame and then all the way out of the right side of the frame. Let's go ahead and clip it right here since you know it exits right about there. I'm going to move this to the second channel here and we'll find the first point in which we see something on the left side of my hand, which would be right here. Let's move our frame underneath. Actually, one more back just to make sure we got everything. I like to change the sizing of the frame here so we can see the full image and know what we're masking out appropriately. While we have our second layer selected, I'm going to go underneath opacity and grab this pen tool. And then I'm going to start drawing a mask around where we need to go. So that's kind of a rough mask. Go ahead and select inverted just so we can change that up and then I do a mask feather of about 65 to cover up everything now what we want to do is go down here before we go to our next frame go to mask path and set a keyframe right there and this is actually going to change the shape of your mask as you move along we're going to select the timeline down here and use the right arrow to go over one frame now we have our mask selected so grab this bottom one here and just kind of move this around to make sure we are covering the entire scene we're going to grab the top one and do the same thing we're going to see this isn't going to cover everything and really do a nice custom fit. So we are going to have to change this up a little bit and add more points. And it's very simple to do that. You go along this line here and you'll see the pin tool has a plus next to it. Just click inside and then drag up or wherever you need to go. And that'll add that one extra point for you. I think this one extra point will actually do us this time. So that looks good for this frame. And let's go ahead and move over one more using the right arrow key. I'm going to manipulate this again, bring it over, bring the bottom one over. And we're going to have to add another point here. So I'm going to add another point right about here. And then we're going to drag this one up to make fit. So I'm going to fast forward through this section a little bit because it's mostly just moving points like this, but you do want to get right here around my thumb like I'm getting. Those little pockets are going to show up. Make sure you grab those or else it's going to throw off the technique slightly. Let's go ahead and resume the tutorial again. So I need to go back to my first one here and change this up one more time. I'm going to go back one more frame and then just kind of remove this fully from the frame just to make sure it's all set. And that's as simple as this transition is. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one, and turn post notifications on. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. <laughs>